Welcome to another yeast shootout. Today we are shooting out the Sapel US04 versus the Sapel WB06. Let's get started. All right, so if you haven't seen this series, basically I take two yeasts with one mead recipe and let them both ferment and then decide which one works better for this traditional mead recipe. Now, I don't do any acid adjustments, sweetness, anything like that. I just go based off the yeast's performance overall. So let me give you some stats on each one. On my left is the S04, and this is the WB06. The S04 has a temperature range of 59 to 68. The attenuation is 72 to 82%, alcohol tolerance 9 to 11%. This one is perfect, it says perfect strains for, uh, perfect strain to ferment mild stouts, porters, brown ales. Um, this is, these are beers, these are beer yeast, but we can use them for mead, of course. On the flip side, the WB06, uh, the temperature range, 64 to 75 Fahrenheit. Attenuation, 86 to 90%. Alcohol tolerance, 9 to 11. And this says perfect strain to ferment Bavarian Hefeweizen, uh, Dunkelweizen, or Weizenbach. So, beer yeast, but nonetheless, curious to see the results. So, I started with two gallons of must. Mixed up my base mead recipe, which is just honey and water and yeast. I uh, started the gravity for both of these, 1.094, put my yeast in. I threw about three or four grams of Fermate O into each one to give them proper nutrition because we know that honey is low in nitrogen and the important things that sometimes malt can have. So I fed my yeast, let them ferment. They both took quite some time. I will say that quite some time, uh, about three weeks to ferment to what I think was done and what I recorded as done. The original gravity of the Sapphire WB06 was 1.094 and the uh, final gravity I, that I recorded is 1.011. The uh, SO4 was 1.094 and 1.010. So very, very close to the same ABV. That's probably about right, because these have a tolerance of 9 to 11%. That's kind of hitting that range, frankly. So after I let them ferment, I went ahead and moved them over. I only saved about a half gallon of this because I just need a half gallon for my, my records. Um, I didn't do any tasting because I saved that for now. And then I cold crashed them and I bottled a few. So I, I bottled one so I didn't have to disturb my half gallon because this will set back and age for a while. Um, and I have a bottle of each. We are now going to pour them and then we get to the shootout. Now I haven't tried to clear them at all. Honestly, I just kind of have left them how they are other than the cold crashing. Um, I'm sure that there's some flocculation of different flocculations of the yeast that causes them to flocculate faster, slower. Um, clearly so. The 06 right here is just a little bit more clear. It's still murky, but you can kind of see my hand. Whereas the 04, you're not getting anything. There is no seeing my hand. Uh, so they might clear with time. The current point of this tasting, we are at, these are two months, about 70 days old. So a little bit of age, not super long. We are going to now get to tasting. I'm gonna start with some noses on these to get the differences. Mm, definitely fruity. That orange blossom is, is holding its character well. A little bit of yeastiness. This is the SO4, by the way. Yeah. Okay. It's got an interesting amount of yeastiness. Ooh, very different. What, much more uh, warm. There's a lot more fruitiness coming from this one. Still a little yeastiness, but I can, I get more honey retention off the, on the nose. Yeah, there's like a, a rich, warm fruitiness in there. Interesting. Well, let's taste them. Let's, here's the SO4. Oh, 
Okay. That about 1010 gravity provides a little sweetness, a little lift, so you get some honey character. Definitely has a, a tinge of um, yeastiness still apparent. Oh, yeah, it's got a interesting like tannin. So it doesn't sit on the front of the tongue, it kind of sits on the kind of back to mid, and it's sweet, but there is a a breadiness to this that I'm getting that is mm, kind of like a sourdough bread, rye bread kind of taste, which that, that seems odd, but that's kind of what I'm getting. I do like the sweetness. I think that's very helpful. I think that it that brings life to this. Um, there is that kind of weird tannin in there, but there is fruitiness for tain. Of course, the sweetness is there, which is nice. With these being lower ABV tolerance yeasts, they're great for hitting that point, staying low with your ABV and not necessarily worrying about trying to, you know, cap out my 18% yeast before I can back sweeten um, or trying to do anything like that. That's interesting. Um, there's a, a fruitiness from the honey, floralness from the honey, and that the yeastiness is still a little bit apparent. I think that's very clear because this is not clear right now. Okay, let's flip to the other side. I had to clear my palate. We now have the 06. Ooh, wow. That, oh well, those flavors. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a, a boat that just keeps swinging back and forth. Because it's like sweet, but then there's this, I can't, I can't pinpoint that, that taste. This is uh, uh, kind of annoying. Why can't I pinpoint it? Fruitiness, the floral side is very well retained, which is nice. You don't get a lot of heat from alcohol. I do feel like you get a li little bit more from here. But there's this um, almost uh, buttery richness that is presented like as this sets, which is kind of funky. That's why like it starts off real juicy and then like sits and then as you breathe and you exhale some, like there's a chemical reaction because I can feel it like altering. It's real weird. It's clean. I do think that the the uh, uh, lack of yeastiness here allows you to peek through and see some more of the characters that you uh, uh, want in this. Now, of course, this isn't like extremely like so yeasty that I can't catch anything else, but this just has a more complete profile, which is nice. Okay, I do official reviews, air quote, and then I have this paper. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and come back and give actual scores on these things. It will decide at the end of it, which one is the better meat. All right, I'm back. Done my official score sheet. I'll show you on screen as I talk about this. So, Let's start with the SO4, which is on my left right now. I said uh, color and appearance. I'll, sh I'll do them side by side, that'll be easier. The SO4, the color and appearance was six out of 10, said hazy, it, but it could clear up. I know that this one's young, it's not great. Uh, color and appearance on the 06, I said it's more clear, only slight haze, uh, eight out of 10. Nose bouquet for both, eight out of 15 for the S04, for the 06 was 11 out of 15. There's a smidge of like yeastiness and what I finally figured out, a, like a weird, oddly enough, a corn tortilla kind of aroma on the nose. And I couldn't figure out what the heck it was, but it has the, it's a reminiscence of that to me which is a little bit odd. I don't know if that's my honey. I don't know if that's a yeastness side, but um, I get that on both of them, a little less on the 06. Uh, flavor for both, six out of, excuse me, 10 out of 15 on the SO4, 12 out of 15 on the 06. The finish for the 04 was six out of 10. 
finish for the 06 was the was 7 out of 10. Honey Character Presence, 8 out of 10 and 9 out of 10. And then finally, the Mouthfeel Body was 8 out of 10 for the 04 and 9 out of 10 for the um, 06. Basically, this is just a, like, I, I imagine that this will clean up some, maybe with some time, but at its current venture, the yeastiness, that really kind of prominent uh, tortilla note are distracting from the honey character and presence and warmth and floral stuff that you want, where I get a little more of that in this. I get more of those notes. I get more of the honey pleasant trees. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best way to say it, but the, I, the things I want in this. So my final results, SO4 gets 46 out of 70, and the O6, WV06 gets 56 out of 70. These are comparable yeasts, and I think that it's been really interesting to try them. Between the two, the winner is the O6, and it just produced a cleaner fermentation that presented more honey character and sweetness and floral aromas. I think that it just, it encapsulated more of a mead for me. So, if I'm recommending one of them, recommending that one right there. Now, of course, you can use that one. You can use any of these. Um, I've done a lot of yeast shootouts if you would like to see any of those other videos. But essentially, go and test some yeast. What you'll find is as you do more yeast testing, uh, you will understand them better and you'll know what will be best suited for each thing. This right here, 04, might be very good for some other brews. It might be better than the 06 in some regards. In this case, with this recipe, this one, 06 wins. Check out the other yeast shootouts. Um, they, I have a plan for all of these yeast shootouts. I think this is my eighth one, which means I have 16 total meads that I've done shootouts for. So I'm excited to do some fun stuff with that in the future. I hope you'll check out a future video, hit like and do all the things to help the YouTube channel grow. And I will catch you in the future with another video. Cheers.